Lesson 10, Function of a Function Rule. Now this is an uh, adaption of the chain rule, just to speed things up a little bit. Now here I've got a function x equals uh, another function to the raise the power n. And here I'm going to let gx equal to u. That means that function x is equal to u to the power n. Now, function x is really like y, so it's say y equals u to the n. And here we can see that um, to u to x is just going to be this derivative, g dash x. And we know that dy du is equal to n u to the n minus 1. Now, bringing in the chain rule, we can see that dy dx is equal to dy du times oops, u x. Now dy du is this n u is the n minus 1. u dx is g dash x. Now really dy dx is just f dash x. So f dash x is equal to this. Now we can rearrange this a little bit and write this as f dash x is equal to n g dash x. And remember, u is gx, so it's gx to the n minus 1. Now let's have a look at an example of how this is done. All right, now we've got this function, fx equals the square root of 3x squared plus 2. As before, we'll put this back in the index form. So that becomes 3x squared plus 2 to the power a half. Now this 3x, plus, 3x squared plus 2 is our gx. So we can say, well that's our, it's quite a little note of that. That's our gx. In here. All right, now what we're applying the rule then, all right, so and we can just write straight down f dash x is equal to now the n here is the half, so half comes down multiplied by this is the derivative of what's inside the brackets, so the derivative of this is just simply 6x. And now this is the function uh, uh, gx, which is 3x squared plus 2. But now the power is reduced by 1, so it's reduced by 1, so it's to, to minus a half. And tidying that all up, we get 3x all over the square root of 3x squared plus 2. Actually it's quite okay to leave it in this form. 3x squared plus 2 to the minus a half. Both forms are acceptable. Now here, here's another one. Function x equals x cubed plus x plus 2 all raised to power 3. Uh, just pause the video and have a go yourself. Alright, now the advantage of this technique is you can just write the answer straight down. Right, so the 3 would come down to the front. And you differentiate what's inside the brackets. If anything here, you need to be a bit careful because you've got two things, two terms. You'll have 3x squared plus 1. So you'll, re you'll need a bracket there. So 3x squared plus 1. And then rewrite this again. So function x cubed plus x plus 2 and take off one, you get two. And the lovely thing about this, the whole thing is uh, fully factorized.
if you did it the other way and you expanded all this out, which would take some time, and then and then you go through the step of differentiating each term, then you'd have a, 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 an unfactorized um, uh, expression there, which is quite ugly, whereas this is it's all done in one go. Very powerful rule of functional function rule.